who was, cause think about it, who was doing it before them? Like that outlander, you going overboard. Like nobody was really doing, you know, you had Jay-Z with a couple of them, but you know what I'm saying? But right. not like that. Slick Rick. How about that? Slick Rick. But that was part of Slick Rick's image though. You know of course, of course it was. I think that was part of Cash Money's, uh, Cash Money's thing, man. But it really, I, I won't, I won't take one. I can't, I can't blame it on uh, like Cash Money from way back then. The issue is somewhere in the two thousands. It's some, and there's a disconnect. Yeah, but that that ain't it though. It's a disconnect in the two thousands is where it started happening. And if you notice, like all these young guys are really copying off of each other. They all copying off each oh. other. Like they they all they all dress the same. They all get their hair the same. They get the same jewelry. They get all that stuff, man. The biggest charm yeah, they can crazy. get. Yeah, that's what made and that's what with Joe Budden had. I looked at a little bit of Joe Budden podcast the other day when he was talking about Triple H and Tasha Young. Yeah. Was like his first song went viral while he was in locked up. You know what I'm saying? His mugshot. You know. They heard the uh, song, then they put that mug shot, you know. What yeah. made him different was he had the blonde on one side and the black on the other side. You know what I'm saying? The dreads. Yeah. Nobody had that look. Now, all of a sudden, you know what I'm saying? You got Nobody did the dreads like they how they had house, hairstyle, and then everybody started, you know, people started copying that. You know what I'm saying? But the thing that set him apart was, yeah, his face was looking rough in the mug shot, but he was creative, though. Yeah, so, yeah. You know what I'm saying? He was really creative, yeah. Somebody had somebody had made a post, and I shared basically what you had said the other day, like on uh, what you told me on the phone, like are uh, you like if it, everybody sounds the fucking same, everybody, you know what I'm saying? If you everybody sounds the same, you just a copycat. Like we're gonna set you apart from everybody else. Yeah, today they don't see it like that. They don't see it like we did. They they think being a copy is how you do it. They think <laughs> mimicking the other people is how you get on. You know what I'm saying? But it's like, y'all don't know how many millions of y'all out there are trying to do that same thing. Like, everybody's trying to do the same thing until they catch fire. You know, that's that's what they're going for. And I just think that that's, uh, yeah, man, that's, that's not, I heard way too many songs of people you know sending links and, and stuff like that and it's just I, I just shake my head every time because i know y'all can do y'all gotta try to stand out y'all can't be like oh because he sound like that i can sound like that i'm gonna go grab the auto tune and have my voice and, and repeat these same yeah. things over and over again that, no man like that ain't the way you don't, don't you want to have some longevity you don't want to be like no nah, you know get a that. quick hit and then you gone because like that they want they want to they want the uh they want the high of being a star, even if it's a year. They only well, think about today, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Well they gonna they need to think about more than that because it's a lot of it's a lot of people that caught on fire and they caught a hit. They still looking for that next hit right now. They're still trying to make music they they they're trying understand. to get back to it and they can't get back to it, you know. Right. They don't understand that. You know what I'm saying? It's, you know, it don't matter how many stories. And that's just the young generation period when you try to talk to young people. Like, they, they don't listen. They, hey, I got to go. I'm, you know, they, they got a mentality like, get out of my face. I'm, I'll find out on my own type shit. Yeah. Like, uh, he kind of like washed his hands with uh, Triple H. He was like, that shit went viral. It was, fun, it was funny at the time, man. But, you know, after he died, you know, I look bad at after he died. Was, you know, you know what I'm saying? He was like, uh, he got on act. You probably saw the episode where he was like, that stage a fuck away from this. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, he, I, I see. But that. He, he predicted that shit. You know what I'm saying? Well, I mean, I, you know, that's, that's, you know, that's Axe Lane. And, uh, but I think for Axe, he doesn't have, you know, because I mean, he just about as young as them almost. I mean, I think he probably like 26, 27 now or something like that. Yeah, I don't know if it has to happen enough, but, um, yeah, man, it, I did. I did. I watched that video. I watched. I seen. I even seen back on, on the other show where he was, where he was telling act that stuff, man. Yeah, man. Hey, it's, it's it's a whole big thing about it though. But I just find it really. That's just a big loss to me. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, I wasn't no big Triple X fan. Like, I, I wasn't listening to him heavy like that or nothing like that. I heard a couple of his songs where it was mostly like it seemed like he was playing around, like they were more of a joke or something like that, and he was being sarcastic. So I didn't really take none of those serious. I didn't hear some of his more serious stuff till later. But I still, even with that, I have to say, once he did die, I heard even more of his stuff. 
And and I got to say that I think he's a, a big loss in the industry because he did set himself apart. He wasn't like your typical, like these guys that always try to cut. He got, he got some records that sound like that. Don't get me wrong. He got some records that sound like that, but he, he wasn't just that. Like he wasn't just a person that did the whole mimic mimic everybody thing he didn't just do that he actually had his own like his own lane you need people like that thank you for he died that too well a lot of people a lot of people didn't even know him till he died i'm not gonna blame everybody you know why it's because some of this antics that he was doing like on on social media and stuff like that where he was wilding out part of that it, it contributes to like if you just see a I'm few glimpses of that calm down though. yeah he did he did calm down he did in the end, he did come down. He wasn't hearing yeah, so. nothing about him. Like, they weren't saying nothing about him while during his calming down part. Yeah. Nobody was saying nothing about him. But then when he died, like, oh, triple X, triple X, this, triple X, that. You know what I'm saying? Like, well, I, I think the, I think the youth it were, were more, like, on it than the older crowd. I don't think the older crowd was even really paying attention. I think they seen some of his past antics and then... They just wrote him off as just one of the rest of those, you know, yeah. rest of the young people out there that's that's messing up out there. But no, they didn't see his change because I don't think they paid no attention after that. I think once he did what he did and that's what they saw in the beginning, that's what they left it as. There's a lot of people, a lot of artists like that. Like they're not paying attention to those artists. They already know what they know and they're not going to pay no more attention to them because that don't interest them. It's already it's already a done deal that don't interest them. So they're not going to go back and be like, oh man, he, he didn't change. He didn't got better. Oh, I see he's doing something positive for yada yada. They're not gonna do that. And I'm kind of I'm kind of the same way. I'm kind of similar in in a way, but at the same time, I did get a chance to see him change due to you know what I do, uh, what I'm what I'm into the media that I'm into. So I, I, I did get to see him change. And even I remember when uh, Takashi, uh, what's his name? Uh, Trippy Red were beefing over the dumbest thing ever. Like, I, I don't even know how the hell you all are this paid and you all are beefing over who got, you know, who went platinum how many X amount of times. If you really know what people, I mean, and people listening to this dumb stuff, like both of y'all are, are good to go and y'all over here beefing over some stupid stuff. And X, I, you know, they kept bringing X's name into it and X finally responded, but he didn't respond the way people thought he was gonna respond. You know, he responded with some sense. And he told him some real stuff. Like if y'all ain't trying to help out the needy or something like that, and y'all ain't really talking about nothing. I mean, y'all y'all need to cut all that out. Put that effort towards something real, you know, instead of the stupid stuff that y'all are doing on social media. I got to, you know what I'm saying? That's that's what I'm about. And so I, I definitely agree with him. And I love the tone that he took right there. Uh, that was really important. But um, yeah, not a lot of people saw that. Not a lot of people, except the youth, like only the, only the youth that and his closest fans really got to see that change. I think he was really necessary for the youth because a lot of the youth don't want to listen to the older generation. And I know why, why some of that is. I get the whole back and forth, the older generation is, you know, putting the younger generation down, yada, yada, back and forth. But I think there could be uh, something that, that, that could be bridged between both sides. Then you feel the age. Yeah, yeah, the age stuff, like, what, what don't they? The young people trying to justify age is every, I mean, so age to everything, every discussion. What they got to do with anything? They don't yeah, because the sense of exactly because they got to be that age. And and for me, what's funny about it is like I like to know what somebody older than, than me has to say. Like I couldn't I couldn't just go through disrespecting people that's older than me or whatever. Yeah, because a lot of people got uh, important info that can help you in life to, you know, pass down. Uh, so I always try to talk to older people as much as I can. As long as they're around and as long as they want to tell me a few stories, man, I'm, I'm down ahead because it could probably help you long before you ever even hit that path. So that's what I'm about, man. But the youth, you know, it's on us too, man. I can't just say it's just all the youth. I can't just put it all on the youth because... Part of it is us. You know, you got to think like, who did the youth have? Because I never, I never would, I never thought I would see some of the youth out here the way I see them today. Like that wasn't in my mind. I never thought that I could see them look like they look and act like they act. It's crazy.
Trey, it's like another universe to me. I ain't see all that. So then we lost somewhere up in there, man. We, we, it's part of it. We got to take part of that. Ain't just go all on them, man. But yeah, we need more, more young artists like Triple X because you just need people to be different. People to separate themselves from, from everything. Yeah. Because your longevity is shortened like that because you don't stand out. You just you just look like you mimic. And that's a lot of people out here. As soon as somebody with their own lane get big, people start mimicking them. People start copying their styles and stuff like that. People start feeding off of because they're they are their own person. They got their own lane. And I mean, shout out to Lil Bootsy, man, because Lil Bootsy, you know, he came out of uh, he came out of prison and got right back on it. And he stayed on it ever since. He has his own exclusive fan base, his own thing. He don't have just random people, you know, that's here one minute and gone the next. He actually has a huge fan base. So you gotta get props for that, man. That's that's major. For somebody to go to prison and do his time and come back out and still got love like that. Yeah, he's trying to calm down too. He's wilding out before he left. Yeah, really be like, you know what I'm saying, be with the kids now like he built a, like a dang play uh, like a play a basketball court and them like a playland in his backyard. You know <laughs> It's all about their use, man. I think if I was in that position, there's a lot I would want to, because it's a lot I see, you know what I'm saying? So there's a lot I would want to do. It's all about the youth, man. You got you to gotta get the youth, because a lot of them out here are cutting themselves off, you know, talking about they depressed and, and constantly talking about pills all the time. <laughs> I always want to pop pills, man. This is crazy. This whole pill combination. Yeah. I never, I never thought I'd see the the addicts in hip hop. I know why people sold. It usually, to, to get up out of a situation, to 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 get to a better place, because that's all it was. But I don't understand the actual user. I don't always want to pop mollies. And it's just like, what's going on? I always wanted to, 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 you know, sip some some hard stuff, man. Like I can never mess up my mind like that, man. I stay on target. But yeah, also, also, one last thing I want to say about people out here just buying and wearing all their money on themselves like that. Really wealthy people, man, they don't. They, it's laughable, you know what I'm saying? Really wealthy people dress dress like me. Like, I dress regular. You know, I ain't saying everybody should dress regular. Nothing like that. I'm just saying, like, all that over-the-top stupid stuff, just draining your money away. I heard, I heard this song where it was like, I wear a different uh, outfit every day. You know, only I, I buy something <laughs> that costs this much and I only wear it one time and go right back to the store the next I'm like, what is wrong with y'all, man? Don't y'all hear how dumb that is? You know what the, the community could do with stuff like that, the silliness that y'all are doing? Man, the, the, I got a lot, a lot of the females got a part in this shit too, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't saying it. They fought, you know what I'm saying? Man, sometimes I be scrolling through stuff and I just see these dudes wearing like the tightest of whatever. And they got some kind of designer, <laughs> some designer bag on their shoulder, man. And I'm like, yo, what? What world is this? I mean, leave that to the women. Let the women do that, man. Like, leave that to the women. I wish, I, one thing I do wish is the Boondocks was still around. I missed that show. I swear I missed that. I missed that. Boondocks, man, it has so much material today, it's ridiculous. It has so much material to use. It's just given to them. Like, if you can't make, like, you, it, it's so much material they could have. They got like four or five extra seasons they could work with just off of what you see today. And it's so crazy. And, and boondocks would really show people how they look. They would really show them themselves, you know, in a cartoon and just really show them how ridiculous things are. I, I really miss that, man. I really wish it didn't have to go down like it did because that would have been a big jewel right there, man. Boondocks. We need another show like that.